Hi. Today we're going to be looking at posting on Flipgrid. Content covered in this video includes signing into Flipgrid for the first time, making a response to a topic that you've been assigned, and submitting your work back on Google Classroom so people know that you're finished. Let's get started. So first off, if you want to get to Flipgrid through Google, you just type in Flipgrid in the search bar. Select the first link there and it's going to take you to this page. You'll see on the bottom it says use a join code. If you have a join code, this is where you're going to enter that. After that, you're going to be prompted with this screen. So this is the sign up screen. You're going to use your EDU CBE email clicking sign up with Google. Now, if you are coming to Flipgrid the first time and you're not using a join code, you're actually going through Google Classroom. So you've had an assignment, it's got a Flipgrid link, you've clicked on it. It's going to take you directly to the sign up page if you do not already have an account. You sign in using your EDU CBE account, and it's going to take you to the topic that you originally clicked on in Classroom. To submit a response, you're going to go ahead and click that blue icon on the left called Add a response, and this is going to activate your webcam. If you have certain permissions on your device, it may prompt you saying, Hey, can this Flipgrid thing use your webcam? And you're going to say, Yeah. So once your webcam is activated, you're going to go ahead and click that center circle. It's going to give you a little countdown, and you can begin recording. Now, not all Flipgrid responses require your face. You can add images in here, you can put GIFs in. Uh, obviously, be respectful depending on the type of Flipgrid response it is. You don't necessarily want an emoji on your face uh, if you're talking about a super serious topic. right? You can blur out your background if you don't want people to see uh, the space you're in or anything like that. But when you're finished recording, you're going to either go ahead and click Stop Record or the pause icon in the center or Next on the right hand side. Flipgrid will give you an opportunity to play back your video and you can add in a description, links if you need them. You can take some photos or upload images uh, as a thumbnail for your video. When you're ready, you can go ahead and press Submit. Now that you've pressed Submit, it's going to show you when it's uploading. Don't close Flipgrid while it's uploading. You'd have to submit another response. Nobody wants to do that. When you're done, you just click Done, and you'll be able to view the thumbnail for your response on the topic page. Okay, so as more and more people respond, you're going to be able to see more and more thumbnails of other people's responses. Now you're not quite done yet. You need to go back to Classroom, find the assignment, if it was an assignment or a question uh, that was posted to you, and you need to select Turn In. So you need to click on the assignment through View Assignment, go select Turn In. That way, your teacher knows that it's actually been handed in. All right? Uh, don't just leave it open, or else, you know, nobody knows to go and check the awesome Flipgrid that you posted. And that is everything. That's how to sign into Flipgrid for the first time, either through Google Search or through Google Classroom, how to submit a response, and how to uh, make sure that it's turned in in Google Classroom.